Yo, so Nike is having a collab and it is way better than the Travis Scott's that had released. So all the hype, it blew this out the water. So with that being said, we about to talk about it. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, this is a channel that focuses on streetwear, sneaker content, and men's wear fashion. So if you're interested in any of the listed above, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below to let me know you're part of the tribe, you dig. Now today we are talking about some fire sneakers that are way better than the Travis Scott's that came out. It shits on it, bro. It's fire. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Now the sneaker that I am talking about is the Casina and Nike collab. Now celebrating their 25th anniversary, Casina has linked up with Nike and they are now coming out with the Nike Air Max 1 made to be together. Now this sneaker is just entirely fun. I think I love the concept of it more than anything because I think this makes a perfect wedding gift. So the theme of this sneaker is based off of the Wanang duck, which is a carved duck that is given to newlyweds in the Korean culture. Now this is pretty dope if you think about it because you have the Wanang duck that's given to you as a gift. And if you are a sneakerhead and you're getting married to your partner, this is the perfect idea because at the same time, you're saying the same thing. It's just not a wooden duck. It's some dope sneakers with the idea, the thing, the concept of being together and having good fortune and you're gifting these to an individual or the pair that's actually getting married. Now, if you're looking at this sneaker just right off the back, you can tell it's so much fun. It's two different types of sneakers and it's also going off the theme, the color theme of these two ducks. So if you were to look at the one ang ducks and see actually the color theme of it, it matches exactly what these sneakers are doing. Now looking at both of these sneakers, it's so much that's going on from the midsole to the outer sole to the upper. Everything on this sneaker is just very creative. Now starting off on the outer sole, you will see that they have that gel sole that's at the bottom. I, I have to see what's at the bottom under it, but I'm still pretty much sold because I'm a huge fan of a clear outer sole. Now, if you look on the inside, you'll see that they have a specific pattern with this duck, the breakdown of the duck face. I think that is pretty dope. Of course, you will have to look at it from an artistic view. So yes, you will see parts of the duck. You'll see the face and everything. You'll see the eye. But at the same time, it's very creative. It's artistic. I like the idea. Now getting to the midsole, I think that just the off-white midsole is just a thing completely for all Air Max ones. No matter what, it's always gonna have that off-white color at the bottom, at the midsole. I think that's something that's just strictly traditional for the Nike Air Max one, and I think I'm into it really. Now out of these two sneakers, you'll see that they all have the pony hair that's on there. You'll see that they have the pony hair, but it's supposed to be, of course, the duck feathers. Then you will have the soft leather and you'll have some rough suede on there. So on each of the shoe, you'll see that they have those three main materials that's on there. To have the pony hair that's up on the front more so towards the tongue, I think that's fire because it stands out even more. Now both of these sneakers, they do have the traditional colors of the duck that's on here. Of course, that represents good fortune. So for one shoe, you'll see that they have that burnt orange, the teal, the burgundy, the navy blue, which is fire because at the same time, it gives like different effects like the duck feathers. You'll see that it's more shiny on the pony hair, which is of course like the duck feather. So that teal that's on this one sneaker is absolutely fire. But at the same time, when you get to the toe, you'll see that it starts to turn burgundy. It's more smoother. It's a flat base. It's more of a monochromatic feel that's on here. It's just very flat color. Now, when you get to the back of the sneaker, that's of course when you see the duck face again. So it's just more detail on top of detail, which is more fun. And it stands out a little bit more. And if you look on the front of the toe, I'm not sure what that say, but I'll find out what I'll find out what it say. Maybe it does say made to be together. It possibly could, but you'll see that there is the Korean handwriting that's on the front of here. It could say Nike. I don't I, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I will find out. But still, at the same time, they do have the Korean writing that's on the toe, which is pretty fire. So it all comes together on this one sneaker. But on the other hand, you'll see that they have the same type of thing that's on the gray sneaker as well. So you'll see the navy blue, you'll see the gray, the lighter shade of gray. You'll still see that small flower that's on the front. It's just everything is the same as far as the material, the pattern, the shapes and everything, the artistic design at the bottom, the back, the heel, the front, everything is pretty much the same. The only difference is the difference in color. Now I can't actually wait to get this 
in hand because this is something that sticks out like a sore thumb, especially when you have a captivating theme. Now again, like I said, if you was to give this to somebody and they knew what the theme was, I'm pretty sure that they'll be excited about it, especially if you was to do this in Korean culture. So I don't know about you, but if you think this is a fire sneak, I want you to drop that comment down below. If you think that this is better than the Travis Scott, drop that comment down below. If you feel Travis Scott is better, I wanna hear about this. I wanna know why, drop that comment down below. But in the meantime, between time, I'ma see if I can get this sneaker, and if I do, y'all get the on-hand review, cause y'all already know it looks better when you get it in person. So, I'ma get up out of here, man. Y'all already know the vibes. I appreciate y'all watching. I'ma catch up with y'all on the next video. I'm out, I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Get those sneakers, fam. Peace.